That is all praises to the Most High in the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. We give double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to the Bakiar. I wanted to prove through the scriptures the garments, the type of garments that were worn by the Israelites and to show you that the men of the Lord today, the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai today, what type of, of garments they would be wearing, okay? And you have these other camps that are talking about how they follow the law to, um, to the letter of the scriptures, okay? But they're over here um, completely going off from our ancient customs, all right, and namely in the garments that were worn by our forefathers, all right, and to show you, just as the Most High says time and time again, that he doesn't change, all right, that these ancient ways and paths are going to be, are not only to be followed to an extent today what's expedient for us, but are going to be established in the kingdom. We're going to go right back into these type of garments in the kingdom, man. All right, and, the, and then to sh furthermore show you, these are the these are the garments of the of the uh, of the, the heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, and going into expedience, um, when we're on the highways and hedges doing the work of the Lord. All right, um, as it said, that we would not be removed into the corners anymore that um, we would stand in front of our the face of our enemies, right? And that um, basically that it would be a, a token of their destruction. In these, in these, uh, these rallying points, okay, um, these standards that have been established around the planet through the Most High, right? The consumption of this place by the spirit of his mouth first, all right? These um, platoons, these garrisons, which are also likened into altars that the Most High set up, um, the, the camps, right? Men on the highways and hedges, primarily um, at Great Millstone. What, what garments are they wearing, all right? And in that time, when we're in that uh, forum and in that platform on the highways and hedges, as we're required to do, and in this, um, in this time... And in this age, it's, um, it's been set up to do at least once a week, right? That's where those garments are to be worn and displayed, okay? But you have these other camps that are, are wearing fucking um, uh, baby garments. They call these fucking t-shirts, which has been revealed to be, uh, I believe, a Greek. These t-shirts go back to... The origin of the t-shirt. I believe it goes back to a Greek fucking custom. Mm. Let's see. So these shirts... Don't even go back. We we can't even see shit before the 1800s, but really, for this, right? Sleeved shirt. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, shirt. So, see, short sleeve shirts were originally conceived and worn by tennis players in the 19 fucking 20s, man. We'll, we'll go into... I'm going to have to do some research so I don't sit here on the video trying to look this up, but I'll do some subsequent research, most high willing, and go into the, the origin of those T-shirts that they're putting garment... Uh, they're putting fringes on, man. They're calling uh, the garments of the Yahal Bashir Miao Shai. All right? Which is um, completely off. So it's likened them to... Hey, that, that shit's... Um, 100% cotton t-shirt but it's about um, but it's a Greek or even if you will 
like we saw just now a French fucking um, uh, custom, all right, with fringes. So that's like an unto like um, unle um, throwing leaven, right? That's like an unto mixed fabrics, even though it might be the same material. It's a mixed type of of uh, garment all day, all right. Not to mention, um, you know, the the other carnal type shit that they have on the t-shirt iuic talking about christ right what is it um fucking uh um sakari with blades and daggers and shit all right so it's not even a question who has a more accurate expression who's the more accurate expression of of wearing the proper garments okay this is in Isaiah 6. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. All right, we'll get that word train. His train filled the temple. This word train, in the Paleo-Hebrew, you take each character that you see here written in the Assyrian, all right? And if you have, because one thing that everyone should have coming into this truth is uh, um, some type of reference on, your, on the phone or um, a little cutout for your, for, your, for your sword in your scriptures, in your, in your Bible. It's got the Assyrian alphabet, Assyrian Hebrew alphabet, and the Paleo Hebrew alphabet. And you simply take these Assyrian Hebrew characters and you link them up with the Paleo Hebrew characters. And then you, so you can translate this Assyrian back into the Paleo. So here, if you take these three characters, the Shah, um, the wa and the la okay it, it's per, um it's this word is shawal okay. shawal it's the sha the wa and the la and you drop the the a on the la all right shawal and it's um said it's a it's outline of biblical usage it says a skirt or a robe says oh right up here in the etymology meaning to hang down all right of a high priest's robe of the most highest train all right down in the strong definition it says from uh unused root meaning to hang down a skirt by implication a bottom edge a hem a skirt or a train okay so it's likened into like a robe, like a high priest robe. And we're going to get the other definition for it. A shawl. Okay. Because um, shawl is another one of these Hebrew words that is also in English. Very slight um, uh, variation. Okay. Very slight um, uh, difference is uh shawl and and shawal because shawal would be like this right and shawl is spelled like this and a shawl is okay a shawl is uh a loosely worn over the shoulders okay upper body and arms and sometimes also over the head and that's when you see brothers with the um with the hood Right. Um, it is usually a rectangular or square piece of cloth, which is often folded to make a triangle, but can also be triangular in shape, which is exactly what uh, 
actually really um, square, which is um, how the garments that the Most High put the spirit on the apostles and elders to have a uh, great millstone wear, okay? Because they're the garments of, of the scriptures, man. They're the garments that the men of Yalbash and Yalshai wore, and that the Most High right here, as you can see, a shawl. This is what he was wearing, all right? His train, the, the hem of his garment that filled the temple, all right? And that's transcendent in and of itself, okay? Wouldn't you be wanting to rock the garments of the, of the Heavenly Father? See, so the Most High, it's extremely spiritual. How, um, and you can tell it's all straight from the Most High. This whole congregation, this whole ministry that he set up in the form of the elders and apostles on down, all right? He put the spirit on him to even name, for the name of the, the camp, right? For uh, the order, the structure, and then, of course, going into this, um, the garment, all right? How they, um, you know, they taught us, and other men became almost specialists in, in garments and took the baton and, and instructing brothers how to craft these, this garment, you know, take a square or um, rectangular piece of, of cloth, and then you cut out the... Um, you cut out the half circle, fold it. You um, when it's folded, you cut out the half circle for the for the dome, for your head to go through. Okay, and it hangs down off of your shoulders on both sides. This is the original garment of the Israelites, man. And what we're gonna wear in the kingdom, and you see that a lot. The pics, like I said, what are we not gonna be kings and priests and judges? Okay, I said a high um, a high priest robe. And also the judges, they wore they wore a robe as well, shawl. Okay, and you see that even depicted in like um, ancient depictions in of like um, ancient depictions of, and even um, modern depictions, but really it's based off ancient art of uh, celestial creatures, like celestial beings, the celestial council. All right. Um, that's in, that's dressed in these things, all right? It's almost like it into a cape as well, right? And these are, these are, this is an example of one of those old school shawls, okay? And of course, everything right now in this time is, is a uh, fucking um, catered to the, to the broads. So, of course, it's going to be pushing that most. But look, poncho is another word for that shit, right? What you just saw it looks just like the garments, man. And I just had that. Isn't that fucking shatan? I just had it, and it uh, showed it, and then it, it cut it. And it was the spirit because it was one of the the first ones up there. Um, that, that image that was just shown of those shawls. Oh, isn't that, isn't that fucking great? That's fucking shit's on, man. Maybe going to shopping. Oh, man, that's fucking shit's on, bro. <laughs> what did it say? Um, a geometric, geometric shawl. Fucking piece of shit in there. See, all right, there it goes. All right, so this is um, one of the vintage, meaning like going into like the old school. This is an old um, ancient sh style shawl, okay? Hanging over the shoulders. This one even has fringes, okay? And, and then finishing off, we can find that, of course, a variation of that in Revelation 1 and 13 showing it going into the sun in the midst of the seven candlesticks one likened to the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with the golden girdle all right and that just shows you that these garments are supposed to be long down to the ankles right 
and that's exactly how those robes, the high priest robes, and those um those judges, magistrate robes, are. Okay, they they're they they're long. Okay. And these are we're gonna go into regal, regal editions, regal um, fucking, <laughs> um, innov- innovative, different type of designed um, garments like these, man. Just the garments that we see of the of these warriors of great millstone. These these um these. priests really okay these kings these future kings and priests that they wear these um these regal garments that that they um that they craft and that other people craft for cuz a lot of times you'll see a badass garment that brothers be wearing and you know they got it it was crafted by someone else and that's how it's gonna be, you know. You're gonna just have nothing but tribute, and um, and riches, and resources that are gonna be brought. It's gonna be um, uh, um, a joy for these heathens and these other nations to bring their uh, their goods unto us, their best. All right. So they're gonna be. We're gonna have them crafting badass fucking garments, just like um, these. Uh, this one that you see that you hear about here in Isaiah 6, Revelation 1 and 13, okay, long flowing um, uh, capes, all right, for the true um, guardians of the galaxy to rock, all right, to rock the, the garments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Yahweh, man, okay, them shits encrusted in, in, um, in gold, all right, you see some brothers with the uh, the ephod um, and different gems and shit like that on their on the breastplate, if you will, on the chest area. Imagine in the kingdom, man. All right, it's gonna be woven in the in the fibers of the garment, different uh, precious gems. Okay, so it could be. See, what people need to realize that the ancient ways are gonna be restored, but just on a on a um on a heightened level, on a fucking infinite level, man, okay? Because it's just going to cont- continually abound, all right? So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, 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 Ba'ashim,